Welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is Opening the Vault and we are starting another vlog. I'm a little... I'm trying to currently upload last week's vlog that was supposed to go up on Saturday. But on Saturday it said it was going to take three hours to upload and now on Sunday it's still saying it has three hours. So don't really know what that's about but... I'm going to wait for it to upload. Hopefully we can get it uploaded this Sunday. Um, if anything, the latest, it would be uploaded on Monday, but that would have happened a week ago. This week, I want to focus a little bit more on the habits that I'm trying to build and the goals that I'm trying to achieve in the next few weeks, but also for the rest of the year. And so I'm just gonna be doing my skincare while I'm talking to you guys. But my first goal that I have a really, really hard time with is fixing my sleep schedule. My sleep schedule is biphasic at the moment and it has been not forever but sort of forever. I basically take a nap, sleep, whatever you want to call it, for a few hours in the afternoon and then I go to bed super late like usually no earlier than like 4 a.m and then i'll wake up at like eight or nine and so i usually get my sleep in two phases um i did have some issues with like insomnia in like high school and a little bit in college where close my eyes toss and turn all night all of a sudden it's 8 a.m so there have been times where i just like haven't slept Biphasic sleeping seems to like help me actually go to bed, which is really nice. I do take melatonin every once in a while when I like really, really, really need to go to bed, but sometimes it doesn't work. So that's not really something I can rely on. And I have had a decent sleep schedule where I go to bed at like 12 or 1 a.m. and then I wake up at 7 or 8. And for me, that's like perfect. I cannot go to bed any earlier than 12. Oftentimes though, especially right now when I'm in the process of fixing my sleep schedule, going to bed at 12 means that I wake up around four because my body is like, oh, this is like the first phase. Let's sleep for a few hours. And I'm like, oh no, I was trying to like sleep through the night, but I guess not. So that's kind of where I am now where I am so tired, I'm so tired, but I am doing my best to like fix my sleep schedule because at this point we only have three weeks, three weeks left until I start my new job. This is like the hardest part for me is fixing my sleep schedule. Like I can clean if I really put my mind to it. I can get ready, I can start working out, all that stuff. It's my sleep schedule that has just like never been the way I need it to be. Well. My sleep schedule doesn't work with the nine to five schedule. Let me say that. In a world where I could do whatever I wanted to do on a daily basis, my sleep schedule wouldn't really interfere with anything. But for a nine to five, I definitely need to be up and rested at the latest 7.30 a.m. So I can like leisurely get ready and then leave for work. Cause I work like 30, 40 minutes away with traffic. And I do not, I do not want to rush in the morning. That's my least favorite thing. I hate rushing and I cannot jump out of bed and get straight to work. I used to do that all the time when I worked from home, but it makes me feel terrible. I hate doing that. I have the worst days when I like roll out of bed and get to work, so. That's also why I got um, my eye gel. Just to show you guys real quick while I'm patting this in. I use the Good Molecules Niacin in my brightening toner. And then also from Good Molecules, the Hyaluronic Acid Boosting Essence. I've used both of these at least two times. These are at minimum my second bottles of each of them. And then also from Good Molecules, because I'm kind of trying to make this my like main brand, because their stuff is crazy affordable. Like this was only $6. This stuff is really affordable. It's hydrating. It's nice. 
but I think that for my actives, there's like other brands that I'd like to be interested in. Like for my products with actives, I kind of prefer um, like the Inky List, Glow Recipe, and Topicals. So yeah, I'm also trying to like solidify my skincare routine, but my skincare routine is so simple. It doesn't really, it's hard to make it its own video. So I'm just gonna incorporate it into the vlogs. But yeah, my sleep schedule is garbage. I'm trying to work on that. That's the first habit. The second habit is honestly a mix of a bunch of other habits. Getting in the process of waking up and doing things in a certain order so that all of those things get done. So it's kind of like, because my sleep schedule is a mess, the cat's feeding schedule is a mess and my girlfriend doesn't have like a set schedule at work so she like wakes up at different times of the day too the cats have like adjusted to it but we really do prefer and i'm sure they prefer being on a set schedule so i'm trying to wake up earlier i'm trying to wake up earlier be more refreshed basically wake up feed the cats do a snake check, clean the litter boxes, and then kind of like start my day. And that's the hardest part because if I'm in a schedule, everybody else is in a schedule and it's just easier, but like that's the hardest thing for me. Like sometimes when I wake up, I'll do something else or I'll do my skincare or I'll do whatever, I'll make breakfast. But all of those things kind of like push the like pet chores like 20, 30, 40 minutes. And I'm like, if I could just wake up and do the pet chores right away, they're done. And then like I'll clean the litter boxes throughout the day and then like feed the cats later. But these are like the important things that need to get done as soon as I get up. And I don't want to prolong them any longer than I have to. I do feel like realistically I will get up and do my like skincare first because the thought of doing my morning routine after cleaning the litter boxes doesn't sound right so but yeah i do want to wake up with enough time to do my routine do the pet chores and then like leisurely stroll through my morning before i have to do things and right now it's like 11 almost 12 and i just woke up and i usually put on sunscreen in the morning even if i'm not going out just because when I sit in like in my office, I'm right in front of the window. And honestly, the sun is super bright and it kind of hurts my eyes sometimes. So if it's bright enough to hurt my eyes, I'm gonna wear skin. I'm gonna wear sunscreen. So yeah, this week is just doing my best to set some realistic and manageable habits. And there are a couple like goals that I want to achieve and this is my sunscreen but yeah I'm still like solidifying those goals in my head I'll probably do some like journaling a little later but And I'm just using the EOS lip balm. Um, I guess it's called the Hero. I've never seen that before. I've been using this for like a couple years now. And I think it's strawberry scented, which is nice. But yeah, that's pretty much all I do for my morning routine, um, which is why it usually doesn't get its own video because there's not much, like I didn't, I didn't really do much. I just put on my skincare. Um, but I'm gonna do my hair. I am going on day three or four for the pattern custard um it's nice i feel like my part is refusing to stay parted and i don't know what that's about so um yeah i'm gonna mess around with my hair i'm gonna refresh my hair and i will see you guys downstairs to do some pet chores because we will be doing those together okay so i am downstairs about to feed the cats 
Um, they're both in the kitchen right now. That's our orange boy. He doesn't want to be on camera right now. But I am just feeding them right now. Their bowls are dirty. So I like to use these like saucers for their food. Um, I got these at a thrift store. I think it was like a pack of, like a stack of six of them, six or five of them for like $4, which was awesome. Um, we are trying to get them on better food, especially when I start making more money. Um, they were on Fancy Feast before, and then we were actually starting to incorporate like raw food into their diet before I, you know, didn't make any money. But now that I'm going back into work, we are really, really excited about getting them on some like good, high quality cat food. So if you have cats and you feel like the food that you're feeding them is super healthy, or you've done research, or you're just super knowledgeable in this area, please let me know down below. But yeah, I am just going to divide up their food for them and make sure they have a good breakfast. If you feel like your cats aren't drinking enough water, just like pour some water into their food. So this morning, I'm just going to clean the kitchen a bit. I am going to try to get more time lapses for this um, vlog. I realized in the last one, I was a little overwhelmed with everything, but this week I'm kind of planning it out a little better. So today, my goals for today are to do the dishes, fold some laundry that's been sitting downstairs, edit the videos that are coming out this following week. I also need to make sure that the vlog from last week gets uploaded properly. Because like I said, it was supposed to go out on Saturday and it's Sunday and it still hasn't processed. So yeah, I have a lot of cleaning to do today and I'm gonna try and show you guys as much as I can. Just a random thing, these are my favorite bowls. I got them at Target and they are just the cutest thing ever. This is kind of like the vibe that I wanna go for in the kitchen, this like rustic and perfect pottery look. I really wanna get into making pottery, but that is a goal for way, 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 way in the future. <clears throat> Yeah, so someone just rang our doorbell and I don't know who that guy was. So I got changed because I didn't feel comfortable anymore. Because especially like where our cat kind of messes with the blinds, if you're a creep, you could look in. So I just got changed and put on like some regular clothes. But I'm gonna keep going. So I was supposed to go clean the litter boxes and check on the snakes, but you see how my brain is like, oh, we're downstairs in the kitchen, let's just do the dishes. This is why I get nothing done. Not nothing, but this is why I don't do the things that I said I was gonna do. I end up doing something else. So sink is clean, dishes are done, dishwasher running. I'm feeling good. I'm gonna go do pet chores. <laughs> I just want to go check on the snake room to see like, we call it the snake room, but it's our sunroom. You know, what I need to do, cause I scooped the litter boxes before we went to bed last night. And for some reason, someone peed on the floor, even though all three litter boxes are clean. So they also peed like right where our mini freezer is for the snake food. So I'm probably gonna have to like, not unplug it, but I'm gonna have to move it 
and like clean that whole area so i'm gonna have to like do a deep clean and i'm kind of like of course one of you would do that today anyway let's go so i'm in the sink room it has really nice lighting but it's not fully decorated and it's kind of like a mess back there and i closed the blinds behind the camera so that the neighbors didn't think i was filming them but our cat destroyed these blinds right here so there's like a huge gap where the like parking lot is so i guess if anyone really wanted to look in they could but they should mind their business so yeah i put on my crocs because i'm gonna like clean them before i put them away and they're easier to clean than my house i can't believe someone did that i feel like my cats act up i feel like everything goes differently on camera like when i'm filming i feel like products work differently like the cats are doing things that they don't usually do in the background and it's just very strange but it's fine i'm going to go see if i can find some gloves i think i have gloves and we're just gonna clean this up stains remover sit while I actually clean the litter boxes this is not fun I'm cleaning I'm gonna go scrub my hands I'm gonna open up one of these windows hopefully one that my cat can't get to because she'll destroy the blinds because she's she's so She's so nosy, um, but we're very glad that she has like a lot of different windows and different levels that she can look out of. Um, I call her nosy, but like, I know they like to have like window time and it's really important for their enrichment and development. It's just, she's destroying our blinds and it's very frustrating. Okay, so all of the cat stuff is basically done. Um, I'm gonna do a snake check off camera These children are too much. It's getting really warm, which is nice for the snakes. It gets so hot in the summer that we can actually turn off all their heating and just let them have like a normal daytime heat, nighttime heat cycle, which is beautiful. They also get the natural light from like the sunroom, but yeah, we're not there yet. So I just like to check on them in the morning, see how everybody is. Probably gonna give everybody new water. Um, and yeah. The snakes have these really cool bowls. I think they're supposed to be dog dishes. And our big girl also has two, but I don't know where the other one is. So she has this. Everyone's sprayed down, has their water. Litter box is clean. Dish is done. I'm gonna go figure out what to have for breakfast. And then I will see you guys when I'm doing something else. And I'm in my office, so I'm like, super bright. I did put on like a little bit more sunscreen just because my transitions are changing color and I feel like if that's changing color it's sunny enough to put a little more sunscreen on because I have no idea how long I'm going to be in front of the computer and I do use like actives in my skincare so I try to like take my sunscreen take my sunscreen really seriously because if you don't use sunscreen with actives your dark spots can get even darker. I also have been looking for the Dew 808 gel. And no matter where I go, I can't seem to find it. But then last night we went grocery shopping and they had it. So I have the Dew 808, I'm gonna be trying it. And because I looked at the ingredients and it does have botanical gel ingredients and xanthan gum, which is also in the Camille Rose Curl Maker. And I know it's called a base gel, but I just feel like based on the ingredients I can use it the way I use my other gels, my other botanical gels. I'm probably not gonna film myself editing because it's not interesting. I don't have my editing set up on my laptop and my monitor, so I can't really show you guys. But I just use iMovie, super simple with my editing. 
when I have a better way to show you guys how I edit, I'll do that. But also when it's interesting, because it's really just like cutting and adding music and stuff like that. Hey y'all, so it is Monday, I believe it's Monday, and I am ready to wash my hair. It's day four, I just filmed the outro for the pattern custard video, which should be going up on the Thursday before this one. I am ready to wash my hair. I really, 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 really am. My hair is super dry, and I just want to give it a little care because I have been washing my hair once a week. I, oh, it's been years, literal years, since I've washed my hair weekly. I just don't do it. Um, and this is gonna be a little like detangle in, in talk. Um, because there's just a couple things that I wanna say about like my hair care. When I start my job, I will be going into the accounting busy season. Um, and all you really need to know if you're not familiar with that is that it's busy. It's very busy. At my last job, we're talking 60, 70 hours, late nights, early mornings, working weekends, little to no time for personal care, family care, caring for the household. So When I was at my old job, my last busy season, I actually was able to do a wash and go during busy season, but that was because my hair was about this length and I had my routine down. Now going into a new job, I am not only getting used to the new job, but it's been over a year since I've been in the accounting field so I haven't dealt with that level of stress in a little bit. So that's gonna be a little hard for me to deal with. And so I need to use basically my best products, at least for the first month that I'm at this job, so that I know that my hair is not something else that I have to think of. I can't try new products for my job because I don't wanna be exhausted or tired or stressed, wake up and realize, oh, I have 20 minutes to get to work. I have 20 minutes to get ready, but my hair isn't looking the way I need it to. So I am really just Taking this time to experiment, but also make sure my hair is in its best health. And today, I'm going to be doing a clay mask. I don't know if I can actually detangle with it, because I haven't used it in super long, but we'll see. I'll just do like a couple sections and then I'll probably like do the rest off camera and come back, but I just wanted to chat for a little bit. Also, look how black my roots are. That's crazy. I also kind of want to talk about why I left accounting in the first place. I did work for a very large public accounting firm. Good money, especially right out of college. But the hours were wild. I didn't really have my summers. And even when I did have time off, I was too tired to enjoy it or to go anywhere or to do anything. And so it was just not a good situation for someone, especially right out of college. I was so young and all my friends, I'm not, not that I'm not young, but like fresh out of college, I didn't want to spend my summers inside on a computer. So 
there was just a lot of like emotional and mental turmoil while I was at the job and it took a lot for me to leave. Um, I actually thought I wanted to go into teaching because I did a lot of like TAing and um, tutoring in college and I was really good at it. I enjoyed it. It made me happy. But when I was sub subbing, I was a substitute teacher for a bit um, and I was also in school at the time, like studying to be a teacher. But while I was subbing, I noticed the state, the current state of the education system, especially in the area that I am. And I was like, I need to go back to school and get a, another degree or like get a master's in teaching in the subject that I wanna teach in to even begin to help these students. Because there was a class that I was subbed for where I was the eighth, the eighth teacher that these students had seen. And it was only January. So it basically meant every month, pretty much, they had two different teachers. They were so behind, they were over-tested. A lot of them were kind of just giving up. And I'm like, there's no way. Like, there's no way I can come in and help. And so, you know, I kind of pivoted and I'm like, it wouldn't even be the best thing for me to do to go in these schools and teach if I'm not gonna be, not necessarily the best of the best, but if I wanna help, I need to do it properly. And I, especially because I wasn't working at the time, like I wasn't at my old job, I was just making money from subbing and like my retail job at the time, cause whatever money I had saved was going towards like rent and bills. I had no money for my next um, length of classes. I spent $90 to take a test, only to find out that even though I checked, my laptop um, software wasn't compatible. So I wasted $90 and did not have another $90 to take another test. So not only did I not feel like I could really help, I didn't have the money. I literally didn't even have the money to go to school anymore. Um, and so that left me in a really awkward position because I left my job to go into teaching and I couldn't even do that. Um, and so the last, like from August on, I was looking for jobs. And like I was saying in my dependable products video, even though I had a good three years of really great experience, huge well-known firm um my resume was really impressive i was like acting senior by my second year and when i was senior i was almost acting manager i was managing a team when i was like in my second year and so even with all of that experience all of my knowledge all these places were like well you're not, not that you're not qualified enough, but they're like, oh, we're looking for someone with like four years and you only have three years of experience. And I'm like, for a senior position? What's one more year gonna do for me? Um, so that was not very fun. So it was just very hard for me to find a new job. And when I did find one, it's around the time that I left the channel for about three months. Um, it was a fully commissioned job and I knew that going into it but I also had no reason to believe that I wouldn't do well but I didn't take into consideration that you had to pay for everything to even get to the point of making a meeting 
and then you had to sell a certain amount of business before they even paid you. And even though I pass tests, you don't get the test passing bonus until after you've made a certain amount of money. So I was basically working for free for months, months. And I pay for licensing in the state that I'm in. But I had some clients who were interested in another state. So I had to ask my girlfriend to help me pay for that, only to find out that that license was, which was easily like $100, was only good for the rest of the year until my birthday. And so basically I had like three months and I'm like, we just paid $100 for a three month license. That's not, that's, there's no way. So I spoke to my HR department and they're like, yeah, the first time you do that license, they either give you a full year or until your next birthday. And because my birthday was a few months from when I applied for the license, they just picked my birthday. And so we paid $100 for three months. And then in three months, I had to renew. And this time, the renewal was $180. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. You've actually got to be kidding me. But the renewal was going to be good for two years. Doesn't matter anymore because I don't work there. But the amount of money that you had to spend to do your job before they started paying you was crazy. And I guess that's what I didn't fully understand. So... Of course I left that job and I started looking for accounting roles and I was just like, listen, I reflected on everything that went wrong, everything that went right. And I said, I have no problem with actually like actual accounting. It's the stress. So I made sure to look for firms that had hybrid positions I made sure to get a good idea for the company and the company's values. And I just made sure that it was going to be a good lifestyle fit as well as a good like working fit. And I found a place that where I'm basically doing exactly what I was doing before. I'm actually making more money than in my last position. It's a smaller firm, busy season's not as crazy, and it's just like a much better fit. So it took me a lot longer. It was very stressful. It took me a long time to get here, but in the time it took me to get here, I was able to mature enough to make a better decision for myself. So as stressful as it was, I think, Everything that I've been through in the past year was for the best. And shout out to my girlfriend for being the most supportive person. Because she was basically like, as long as you're doing your best and looking for something that makes you happy, she was like, she'll take on as much as she can. And, you know, I did something similar for her a couple years ago. Um where she left her current job to start working somewhere that made her happier. And I had the money to support us at the time, so I said, take your time, do what you need to do, and I'll be here for you. And she's doing the same thing for me now. So we will both be working jobs that make us happy. Um, and I will be going back to accounting. And I just feel so much better about it. Because I just feel like I'm finally, finally in a position to like take care of, you know, the household, spoil my girlfriend, take care of myself and our pets and have extra money left over. So, like, 
it is really interesting and I think it is sometimes hard to not to say that I wasn't grateful the last time I was in accounting but I was just right out of college I was spending money it was just me I lived by myself um, I had my one bedroom apartment and after a while like I got one snake I got two snakes um, my cat I got my cat from an old friend of mine um, who I'm not friends with anymore but now I live with my girlfriend um, we live in a much bigger place we have two cats three snakes now we're um, a two-car household and so like I need to be bringing in a certain amount to like properly help and luckily I'm making enough where you know I can pay all our bills and have money left over so it's just I'm really fortunate to have this job but also to have like the skills needed to have this job and it just makes me feel very grateful so um when I say that there's like big things coming for the channel I mean it because I can actually afford to do different things I can afford better equipment better subscriptions better editing software um like when we didn't really had have, have a lot of money we had to forgo a lot of things that are really fun and mean a lot to us but now we'll be going out more I can do like proper giveaways on the channel like it's just so much nicer and so I'm just very excited to get started with this job but yeah I would love to talk to any of you below who are like in school right now or recently graduated or if you're in my position like your mid-20s or older and just talk about life and like work <clears throat> and then if you're in school tell me a little bit about like what you're going to school for because we're all in different boats and sometimes things can get really difficult before they get better and that's where I've been the past like six months I've been really really stressed out but just knowing that things will get better has made me more calm and it's actually made me it's given me the energy to be productive i was so down that i was like not consciously like like subconsciously i was like what's the point of like being productive if i have no idea when things will get better so i'm just glad that i'm in a better mental state and yeah, I'm also excited to get back into fitness. But yeah, there is so much coming and I am so excited. And I just cannot wait to show you guys. But yeah, I will finish this off off screen. This is basically what I do when I'm not recording for a video. I kind of just, well, now that I've purged a bunch of products, I just use whatever I want. Um, and it feels amazing. So yeah, I'm going to finish detangling off screen. I'm almost done. And then I'm just gonna be using the Kinky Curly Not Today and the Kinky Curly Curling Custard for my wash and go. So I'll come back when that's all done. Okay, so it's a little later in the same day. My Pattern Beauty Curl Gel video goes live in like 10 minutes. Um, so I've just been editing and i just finished editing the custard video that is supposed to go out on thursday you'll see in that video but i literally had to stop editing and go film an intro with a completely different wash and go because i saw for myself how rough i was being with my hair and how tangled my hair was I have never experienced my hair in that way before. My hair has never, literally never, been that tangled and that dry. 
and I think it goes, it's way more than just co-washing in between the styles or going like five days without washing my hair. Like, it feels like at the core, my hair was just messed up. I have a very good hair routine and using two products, two new products for two weeks shouldn't mess my hair up the way I feel like these ones did. Um, I think my biggest mistake was using the pattern leave-in because that had, like that's, leave-in is the base of your style and the leave-in just, it sucks. I, I, my hair hates it. Um, and so having that be my base for two weeks, I think was just the worst thing I could have done for my hair. But, um, yeah, I try really hard not to be like negative on the channel, but I also want to be as honest as possible. And yeah, it was, it was just a really rough experience. Yeah, there's not really much going on today. Today is just like an editing and filming day. Um, I might do more on Wednesday, but again, my girlfriend's off on Wednesday. I'll probably be spending time with her. I'm really excited to show you guys a little bit more of like a day in my life, especially when I work from home. But I would like to respect my boundaries and know that very honestly, the accounting busy season is like an emotional trigger for me based on my experiences at my prior role. Like I actually had a very traumatizing experience at my last firm where I was just kind of mentally and emotionally drained. Drained is a nice way to put it. Like I had nothing left to give. So, you know, I'm trying to be in my best frame of mind going forward. And if that means that the channel has to like take a back seat, it will because what I don't want to do is risk my like emotional and mental well-being just to try to juggle everything. So yeah, I will still try my best to post regularly at least two videos a week because I wash my hair two times a week. So at the very least I should, you know, be able to post like hair content, but we shall see. The other thing is on the vlogs, it's a really nice way for me to show you guys what's happening without it being nerve wracking. I feel like when I post like vlogs, cause first of all, a lot of people don't watch vlogs and that's okay. And I actually kind of like that because those who do watch the vlog and those who do watch this little segment will get like a sneak peek on like what's to come. So my next video that's coming out on the 5th of March is gonna be the part in my fro products. I showed you guys a picture on the community tab of like when I saw these products for the first time. I eventually got them and tried them. I was actually really surprised by these products. Um, there's a lot more to come of course in that video, but I used the detangling leave-in and the curl enhancing cream. This is almost full because I really just didn't need a lot. This is literally almost empty and yeah, I really, really, really like this product. I'm looking forward to trying it again, um, but I kind of just want to try some other stuff and then, I don't know. I feel like cream stylers, especially since like, we're going into like the spring and the summer, it's kind of hard to try them and like use them because I know that my gels will last longer. But yeah, so on Monday, it's gonna be the part of my fro products. And then on Thursday, I just got the Dew 808 base gel. And I am really excited to try this. I love a good botanical gel. I will not be using this as a base gel. I feel like the Dew is really big on kind of not using leave-ins and that's just not my reality. Um, yeah, so it says, use a loan or top it off with a small amount of mousse dev texture foam. I will not be doing that. Um, I'm just gonna use a leave-in, probably the Kinky Girly Knot today, and then slap this on top because 
if this is a botanical gel and looking at the ingredients, it has very similar ingredients to botanical gels that I like. If this is a botanical gel, I should be able to use it the way I use my other botanical gels, regardless of what it says on the container. So for me, that's how I'll be coming at this. I have seen people use this by itself. I just don't do that. Um, so yeah, I am very excited to try it and I hope that this is, it's, first of all, I was gonna say this is a more affordable alternative. It's not even that affordable. It's like 15, $16. <laughs> it's so funny because I used to think of the Do as like affordable like drugstore brand, but it's actually more expensive than like some of the other drugstore brands. And I think once I realized that and compared it to the results I was getting, I kind of stopped using it. But I gotta be honest, seeing that this was a botanical gel kind of caught my attention because I haven't purchased a new to me gel in over a year. So this is the first gel I've purchased that I've never used before in about a year. So I kind of have very, very, very high expectations of it. So yeah, there's not too much else for today. This is probably going to be a super chill vlog, but I will see you guys when I have something to do. to the end of the week it is currently friday i think it was really consistent monday sunday monday and tuesday wednesday my girlfriend was off so we spent the whole day out thursday we basically came back at like one in the morning and then we stayed up for a super long time so thursday was kind of like a down day for me i really didn't do much on thursday and then she's off today so i find that especially when um i have so much free time and it's her off day we kind of spend that time together and there's nothing wrong with that but it is really hard to peel yourself away to then do the things that you need to do to be productive when you could be sitting on the couch eating food with your loved ones so um, did pretty good this week i still have like saturday and then next sunday will be a next vlog but we're gonna end the vlog here um i am feeling really good i think the first week i did too much i tried to achieve too much too quickly and it kind of wiped me out this week i'm ending the week on a lighter note i don't feel as stressed out i was able to actually journal which according to my journal i haven't done since the end of 2022 so i'm starting to see you know mentally and emotionally i'm actually doing a lot better so that feels really good. It's also March 1st, I believe, so happy March. I start my new job in about two weeks and it doesn't feel real yet. Probably in about like another week, it'll start to feel real. So I will try to come back and like show you guys how I'm like actually getting ready. But yeah, it's been an eventful couple weeks and I genuinely feel like my life is, like the trajectory of my life is changing. My girlfriend's watching a movie and it's so loud, but I have to keep the door open or else these creatures will be making a lot of noise. Ugh. 
I am feeling really good. I'm feeling so much better. And I cannot wait to see what I, you know, can kind of accomplish or add to my habits next week. So thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.